it's me and welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already I post every day of the week raw and today in this video I'm going to tell you guys a story of how I had to give up one of my dogs now this is well I had to give up one of my dogs for like a certain like a specific reason it wasn't because we were being selfish and we didn't want the dog it was because um we had it was hard for us at the time and i'm going to explain why it was really hard for us at the time to give up the dog so i'm going to get started and if you guys have ever had to give up a pet i completely understand it how it feels it's sad but at least you're doing it because it's good for them and not good not just because it's and you're just and you're doing it because it's good for them not because you don't want the pet you're giving up the dog because it's a good thing be thing for them because either you don't have time for the dog or the dog is too much to take care of or you have too many pets and you feel pets and it's a lot of work for you so i'm gonna get started so this all started when i was um when I was young, I think I was like seven or eight at the time, we got two puppies from a breeder and they were English setters. They were my dogs, Rex and Max. They were such very sweet dogs. We loved them so much. Like we had a lot of fun with the dogs. Uh, sadly, they both kind of had like a gene where they were blind and they, they were going, they were kind of blind and they couldn't really see. And I think it was from the, from when, from the father dog. And um, we loved these dogs very, very much. But then at the time, my stepdad at the time was moving in to our house because he used to live up the street from us. But then he moved in with his dog. And then we had way too many dogs living at the house. At that time, we ended up having like five dogs and I think five cats because like all our cats are from when we moved into this house, first moved into this house when I was three. And, um, I think I was like nine at the time when, um, my nine or eight at the time when my stepdad had moved in with, um, his English setter, who was the mother of our two puppies. And we real, we had ended up having just way too many dogs and it was a lot of work for us to have like five dogs and I think five cats at the time. So we had like 10 animals in our house. And so my mom and and stepdad decided it was time to give one of the dogs away to a good home because despite the fact we were say, taking such good care of the dog dog and it was my dog max um we had to give up max because it was just a lot of work for us to have like five dogs in the house because my stepdad at the time was moving in with his dog sam again who was the mother of both rex and max and um we wanted to find a good home for him. We didn't want to just give Max away to a family we didn't know because we didn't know what they were going to do to him. Do to do with him and we knew a really good family friend who loved dogs and we had him and his two kids take uh we gave we ended up giving Max to um, him and his two kids and they were very happy and we were kind of sad that we were having to give Max away because he was a and we weren't going to be able to see him at our house living with us every day but we wanted to do it out of the goodness of our hearts because we just had way too many dogs and it was just a lot of lot for us to take care of so we gave it away to one of our really good family friends who we knew who would take such good care of this dog because he, he had a do dog and he and his two kids loved, loved dogs so much and we were super happy that we gave him away to a good home and so home and sometimes they would bring him over which was very very nice when he was still around. Sadly the dog I think got hit by a car. car. I don't know how he got hit by a car but sadly he got hit by a car but they did take such good care of him for a couple of years and I think like Two years later, the dog sadly got hit by a car, but we were happy that we gave the dog away to someone we knew rather than a good home. I mean, I mean, rather, I mean, we gave the dog away to a good home but to someone we knew, despite the fact we were sad that we had to give him away. Way, but it wasn't because we were being selfish. We were just doing it out of the kindness of our hearts, hearts to help the dog. So just so you guys, this is just to, to let you guys know, it is okay to give up a pet because either you have too many animals or you can't 
take care of it because of your living situation it is completely okay to give away a pet to someone but it's pet but the best thing to do to give away way to give away a pet is to just give it to someone you know rather than someone you don't know because if you give it away to someone you don't know it's you don't know what the person's going to do to the pet but if you give it away to like a good family friend you know who is going to take care of a pet that is really good because like they can help it and then they can give it like a good home and stuff and that's what definitely we did was you, we just gave it away to one of our family friends who we know who could take care of her her and she they did take such good care of her for a couple years until sadly the dog got hit by a car or like they gave her a good home they gave her a lot of love love and I didn't know it got hit by she got that the dog got hit by a car till my friend told me I don't know what how, how it, it, that happened but sadly he she did but I was just super happy that they did give her a good home home and they fed her and loved her very much so that was the story of how I had to give up one of my dogs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all and I'll see you in a soon. Bye!